Welcome. So here comes a good problem here. And the reason why I like this one is because we can't apply the same method that we've done before to uh, use slope-intercept form because this equation is not in slope-intercept form. So we have to go by an understanding of what parallel lines are um, to be able to find a line that's going to be parallel to x equals negative 3, but that goes to the point 4 comma 2. And to do that, I need to couple, I'm going to first graph what I have. Because I don't have a slope here. We know that the census is not in slope-intercept form. I don't have a y-intercept, nor do I have a slope. And let me show you the graph so you can see why. If I was going to graph this, and I could do a table, um, but I showed you how to graph vertical lines in a different one of my uh, series of videos. But if I was going to graph this, I know that x equals negative 3. And x is going to always equal negative 3, no matter what y-coordinate I have. So I'm going to have a vertical line. And we talked about vertical lines have an undefined slope. And you can also see that this graph is never going to cross the y-axis. Now, we can't plug in different points um, that it goes through. We can't plug in the point 4, 2, because we only have a value of, uh, we only have a value of what x. And the point is 4, 2. So let's go and take a look at the point 4, 2 is going to be over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. So what I need to do is I need to uh, find a line that's going to be parallel to this line. Now remember, parallel lines have exactly the same slope, right? So if I had a slope of 1 half, then my new equation has to have a slope of 1 half. If I have a slope of 0, my new equation has to have a slope of 0. If I have an undefined slope, my new equation has to have an undefined slope if they are going to be parallel. Well, to draw, this, to draw a line that's going to be parallel with an undefined slope that goes to this point, 4, 2, it has to be another vertical line. So if I was to graph a vertical line through the point 4, 2, it will now be parallel to the line x equals negative 3. And this new line is going to be x equals 4. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a parallel line to a vertical line. Thanks.